Today I'd like to talk to you about how you can better organize your workspace. I walked into my office one Monday morning and my stress level went up immediately. My desk was covered with papers, it was completely disorganized, and at that moment I realized I am not going to do this anymore. It's time for me to take control of this problem and fix it once and for all. So I read a book called Getting Things Done. And in this book, they had an entire chapter devoted to what they called collection methods. And, and I think the beauty of collection methods is it's really the determination of what you are going to do with each piece of paper. So the first step in the collection method, or the first piece they tackle, is all about throwing things away. You read it, you're done with it, get rid of it. Put it in the circular file, you're done. And get very good at determining what you can throw away. And don't be afraid to throw things away. It's okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing we look at is, is those things that you think you may, you don't have time to read right now, but you want to get to very soon. Those things are going in inbox. So for the inbox, it needs to be done within a few days. Not a few weeks or a few months, but a few days. It's just a place to hold papers until you have a chance to review them. That's what the inbox is used for. The next thing that I use is, is what I'll call a desktop file organizer. Okay, it looks just like this. Okay, and what this is is just simply a series of files that I keep on my desk that I know I am going to reference at least once a week. So that's what stays on top of the desk. And it's just easy to reference it. I I'm taking papers in and out almost every day, and that's a perfect place for it. So that's what I'll use the desktop file organizer for. The next thing I'll use is permanent files. But permanent files for me are, are, are not nowhere near what they used to be. Because permanent files, really what I'm doing there is I'm putting things that I only need to reference every once in a while and, and things that really need to be in paper form. So for me it's things like tax returns. I'll keep my tax returns in a permanent file. I'll keep closing documents to, to the properties I have in a permanent file. It's those types of things. But that's really it. And, and that's for permanent files. But then everything else, and what I'm trying to do more and more of, is scan it. Scan them, put them into digital folders. They're portable. I can back them up. It's a wonderful way to do things. Especially if you're in a situation like I am, where I travel all the time and I live in two different places. It's very difficult for me sometimes to, to take these files with me. But it's very simple because everything is now on my MacBook Air. It's backed up on the cloud, it's backed up on an external hard drive, so I have it in three different places, so I know it's safe. So that's where the bulk of everything goes right now. It's the scanning idea. And if you haven't started to do it, just know it's very, very simple to do. You just put them into a scanner, you direct it where you want, in the folder you want, create a folder if you need to, and it just stays there. So here's the thought. Take a few minutes before you leave your office every day and just organize your workspace. I will guarantee you will reduce stress in your life and you will increase your productivity if you just spend a few minutes before you leave each day to go through those steps.